When it comes to buying scouts on Football Manager and other staff members looking for ways to improve your team at the beginning of your save, the most important person you can get is the head of youth development. Now, why in the world would we say that? Why do we put so much emphasis on the head of youth development over the rest of the staff? The reason why is because the head of youth development has a lot to do with the newly generated players that your team will create. If you want to have a shot in a long-term save with a team that is lower down the league, you really need to find a head of youth development who has a strong personality. The reason why is because a head of youth development who has, say, a model citizen personality or a perfectionist personality or a model professional will have a high level of professionalism. What happens, the way that this works, is that high level of professionalism will then in some cases, spread over to the newly generated players. It will make it, in theory, so the newly generated players will have overall higher levels of professionalism, which is a hidden attribute than otherwise. Why does that matter? The reason why it matters is because there are three things in Football Manager that really strongly influence player development. It's professionalism, ambition, and determination. Those are three attributes every player has. You can see each player's determination attribute because it's shown. The game will show it to you. But professionalism and ambition come only through the personality Sports Interactive has told us which personalities are the ones that are most desirable, and it just so happens that Model Citizen is the highest, with great ambition, great professionalism, and great determination. Now, that doesn't mean the player necessarily is going to be a superstar. You also need a high potential ability, another number that you can't really see in the game, but you can kind of get a feel for as things go along. But we won't worry too much about the potential ability of the player. What we're worried about today is how to find that good head of youth development, how to find the one that we need to get to have our team, help our team have success in the long term. And so here we are again with Kashiwa Resoru, and uh, we're going to take a look at the head of youth development. Just so you know, I haven't looked at anything. We have not moved past the first screen of the game. We are still here. And what we're doing now is we're going to go to staff and we're going to look up the head of youth development situation. We should do this together so you can see what's going on and you can understand what it is that I usually do in saves and what the community has determined ends up working well. So the way that this is, is you can't click here on head of youth development. You have to go click on like the little guy here, right? There's another way that you can look at it if you go over here to... Uh, is it under coaching team? Yeah, you can see here uh, uh, Watanabe Takeshi. We'll go take a look at him. He's also our chief scout. I'm not sure if I want this person doing both of those things. His judging player ability and potential, which is good for being a chief, uh, chief scout, is pretty low. He has a high working with youngsters rating, which may or may not make a difference. I don't think it makes a huge one. But again, the one thing that we really care about is his personality. That's what we want to see because that's the thing that actually makes a difference. He is fairly professional, which means that he has a professionalism rating, if I remember this off the top of my head, from like 10 to 15 or something like that. I mean, which is okay. It could be worse, right? But that's not really what we're going for. So we are in the market to find a new one of these. Like I said, his rating for being a chief scout is also not great. Now, we could just sort of like let him loose and not have him right now. But instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to search for the staff member first. We will try to hire a new head of youth development first. Then when that head of youth development comes on, we will show him the door assuming that we also get a new chief scout. That's kind of the way that this is going to work. So we're going to perform a new search because I'm not looking through 15,000 people. What we want is staff role, coaching, head of youth development. The rest of this stuff I don't really care so much about. Now, football manager will allow you to do this. You can um, highlight key attribute for head of youth development and just look at guys with this type of play, uh, judging player ability, potential, and working with youngsters. But... We are not going to do that. I know that these three stats are important, so hold your horses and don't freak out. We're doing something a little different with this save. 
So we're managing in the World Super League, which is different than your normal like Japanese league, right? But we want to make sure that our team remains a Japanese team. There's this big temptation to just do nothing but sign a whole ton of foreign players and foreign staff. And next thing you know, everybody's speaking English. And it's basically the same save that you would have anywhere else in the world. That happens all the time with my saves because I get a little bit carried away. So we're going to try to not let that happen here. The other reason why we're not going to focus so much on these attributes for the head of youth development is because I know that the personality is more important than anything else. So we'll hit cancel there. Instead, we'll do a new search. And what we're going to look for are players who are Japanese or uh, staff members, sorry, who are Japanese. And we're going to look for the good personality. So we go to general personality and let's see if we can find any model citizens. Now, it might not work. We might not find any. We are also looking, by the way, only for people who are interested in joining our staff, right? We're not going to go after people who are not interested in us or people who we have no realistic shot at getting. Nothing has come up. So what we're going to do is we're going to broaden this slightly. And uh, we're going to go over here to e uh, regions and we're going to look at East Asian and see if there's anybody else around that we can find. And uh, we've had uh, Pak Ji Sung come up. So there's one from South Korea and that's um, somebody who we can also consider, right? If we can't have somebody who fits the role who's Japanese, we want to have somebody who's from around the area and around the region. I know we could find somebody from like anywhere in the world, but this would be an interesting person to have. And look at this. Working with youngsters is 15 compared to the 20. These are not superb ratings, but they're not too bad. Um, he already has a Continental A license. You look at that and you say that, yeah, you, I mean, he will get a Continental Pro license eventually, but he has that model citizen personality that we really want to see. So I think that this is probably the person that we're going to try to go after. And now we'll see if um, he'd actually be interested in doing this job. This is one of the problems with the game, as you will notice, because when we say, okay, we want you to be the head of youth development and that's all we want to let you do. And we want to hire you for three years to just terms. Oh, look, he does want to do it, but he wants to have 120,000 yen per week. And we say, okay, fine. It's like, it, it, I think in terms of dollars a lot because of my nationality. So it's like a thousand bucks a week or something. Yeah, it's okay. We can afford that. So we finalize the deal and there you go. And so we will bring him on as soon as he's ready. It takes like maybe a week, week and a half, two weeks in game for him to come on and he will be our new head of youth development. Um, now, there's another interesting thing that happens as a result of this because he's Korean. Our knowledge of the world, the scouting world in uh, South Korea will likely improve as a result. But we'll talk about that a little bit more next time when we talk about signing scouts. So... Once again, the most important thing when it comes to signing ahead of youth development is to look at that personality. That's the thing that matters the most. You want to make sure that you've got a guy who's got a really good personality above all else. It's more important than the ratings, right? Because uh, players that come up with really good personalities are far more likely to develop well and to become good players than players who end up being like slack or, you know, I can't remember all the bad personalities you know, unambitious and stuff like that. You really want to stay away from that. There's so many players in the game and there's so many players the game will develop that have bad personalities. They're a dime a dozen. Now you want model citizens and you want as many of them as you can get. There you go. Hope that was uh, helpful for you. That's the approach that I take and I strongly recommend it. Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.